the weather, we might just try to keep it short and sweet uh, today. Um, we have a few speakers lined up, but I guess I'll just explain what we're doing here today. Uh, basically, we're all fed up with an expensive and inefficient transport system, public transport system. Uh, and really the introduction of MyKey has just added to the nightmare that public transport users face every day. Much has been made of uh, the exorbitant costs of this new ticketing system. Uh, at this point in time, it's costed taxpayers $1.35 billion, uh, which is money that could have been better used to expand uh, the system and even make it free. Uh, and, and another cost that gets uh, less attention is actually the amount of taxpayers' money being used to subsidise the private transport operators. And this is increasing by the hundreds of millions each year, and it currently stands at over $1.5 billion per year is being paid to these big business transport companies. But at the same time, uh, the estimated cost of bringing the public transport system into public ownership and running it for free ranges between around $340 million a year and $550 uh, is the, the top estimate of what that would cost. So even the highest estimate of what it would cost to run the public transport system for free is uh, around a third of what we're paying uh, the private companies to do it now. Uh, we're not the only ones calling or raising the idea or suggesting that the public transport system should be run for free. The Age newspaper a few years ago ran a campaign uh, basically arguing that uh, privatising out the public transport system is a cost, uh, an unacceptable cost to taxpayers and that we should bring it back into public ownership, make it free and that will cost us far less uh, than what it's costing us today. Uh, and funnily enough, it's not just the Age newspaper that's raised these ideas, but actually a former minister, uh, a Liberal Party minister, who was a minister in the, in the, in a, in the Kennett government, the, the Liberal government that initiated the privatisation of public transport, uh, he actually argued that the system should be run for free. Um, so, I guess uh, what we're trying to say at the moment is that things are getting worse and worse and worse, we're paying more and more and more, um, and we're not getting more services for that money. Uh, we're getting things like MyKey for that money. And so we're here today to say, scrap MyKey and make public transport free. Um, we've got a few speakers lined up to speak to you today. Our first speaker is uh, a public transport activist. He's also a Socialist Party councillor in the city of Yarra. He's been heavily involved in the campaign opposed to the proposed East-West uh, East Tunnel. Um, and so I'll invite Stephen Jolly uh, to come up and say a few words about that campaign and about the problems with the public transport system.